All right, this is your boy Juggernaut, King the 440. It is airship day. All right, it's airship day for uh, ooh, an allergy day, I guess. Airship upgrade day, right? Already got that finished. I hoard those from the uh, good old spirit mines. It's the first thing I buy every day before I buy anything else. All right, and also in the expeditions, right? Um, I just went up a level, so I should be able to upgrade some things. So I got my girl Constance um, equipped, the council, right? Or set the council, whatever. All right, so she's got a guarding component reduction usage of uh, 6%, and then assault, I think it's 15%. You can go into the guards. I'm not tell you what the max is. Um, I still need quite a few frags to even get her up to max, right? Which I might as well say it while I'm in the video. Some people just don't. Some people don't know. So there she is. I need uh, 120. It's 125. It's 145, right? So I basically need. 73, 73 of these in your items. Uh, nope, going up here, right? Because I get, you get two. Ah, uh, well, come on. You get two every time you make one of these, right? So you might be wondering where you get them. You can get them from the expert. You know, you can redeem them here. Guards. No, they're not cheap do need them so might as well buy them right, there's one um, don't do uh, Hall of Heroes one uh, a bounty I mean you can honestly though because it I mean it helps the Alliance everybody else gets coins for donating your bounty but it's more expensive buying them here it's only like an extra 300 coins right it's, it's, a, it's a small amount but still you could, or you can just buy them from the Alliance Hero Store, right? Go out to guard. Um, at twenty-seven thousand, right? Let's get close. There's twenty-two there, right? Uh, for twenty-six thousand four hundred twenty-two, right? So let's go back to Alliance. It's just GOG math, right? Twenty-two costs you twenty-seven here, so you know you lose a bit of coins. But I mean, if you really, really want to be helpful with your alliance, go ahead and do it anyways. If you need them, um, I'm trying to max out all my purple guards now. I'm still in a pretty young kingdom, right? So purple guards are coming, coming along slowly. They come a lot slower than the greens and blue, that's for sure. Right. Okay, so got constants up. Um, one thing you can do with your airship, right? Once you level up the um, airship dock a couple times, go in there, right? Every time you you uh, level it up, this is guardian component usage, right? Is uh, minus sixteen and six percent. So that's just for the guardian side, but it does help. So you gotta buy less of them, right? From the spirit mines. So let's see what I can level up first, right? Um, with the airship expedition, you know, it also depends on the uh, the battle report, right? So before we even do that, let's go see what the next level is. And you gotta kind of adjust it depending on you know what stat you're missing and Wow, all right. Just just upgrading or just upgrading my airship got me through that. Um, right, I've got some stuff I can equip now. I think uh, for the next airship upgrade, but I don't equip them until uh, these holiday events come around. All right, so 
I know you guys don't want to see me go through this, but I didn't think I was going to be able to fly up a whole bunch. Usually with an upgrade, I can just fly up one, but... Uh, anyways, I apologize for adding this in the video. I don't even like doing it myself, so I imagine you guys like watching it last, but the, re the rewards seem to be a bit janky now. We, we, uh, we used to get lots of better stuff than this. We used to get airship experience. Um, I don't know. Seems like they nerfed the rewards here. I'm afraid people aren't going to spend. I don't know what the deal is, but green still? I mean, I'm level 59 in my airship. What am I going to do with those? I, I know I can dismantle them, but they're not worth anything. Honestly, I see people use their catacombs uh, coins to buy these and dismantle them. They're worth next to nothing. You'd be better off just getting two farms that just sit there and do nothing but these events. Right? You know, collecting resources inside the um, inside the castle. And you can just get, a, get, get a, a couple farms. You need really need just two. Three will get you max, but two will uh, suffice. Right? They just send you this those every single day. Right? But, uh, yeah, there's so much other better things you can spend your catacombs coins on. I don't even buy resources. All right, there's the one I was looking for. So I usually I'll hit it tw two or three times just to see if RNG will beat it for me, right? But, all right, let's see, what am I missing? Infantry defense, cavalry defense. And these all, these all do matter, right? Um, and you'll get those damage stats the more you level up and the attack from the, the gears that you equip, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and level up what we can now. So I just went up an airship level, so I might even have some components I can kick up a bit. Alright, so we're gonna, I'm going to start with what I would for battle, right? No, not that one. Distance damage. Distance versus cavalry, right? Cavalry versus infantry. Distance versus infantry. All right. You know what? When it comes to attack, I always upgrade this one first, right? Um, the faster you knock that infantry leg down, the uh, the more damage you're gonna do. Right, so I will need level 61 before I can go up again anyway, so I know this one's maxed. Right, and oh, let's look at that a little closer, right? That gives my cavalry attack to plus 40%, and my cavalry damage key stat, right? That's the king stat right there, 62%, okay? Um, next, I'm going to go again to my distance damage. Distance versus cavalry, right? Because, uh... But this one's already maxed. I need level 60 to even go up higher again. Alright, so let's check this one. Cavalry damage. Cavalry versus distance, right? So let's get that one up. And I think... Alright. Yeah, so we're all done there. This will... Help us a little bit here. I don't have a whole lot of components left to even use. Um, there's nothing I, I guess I could reset this just for the um, just to push right uh, I guess I can let's go ahead and do it and I'll show you guys why why would you do that man you need your battlefield treatment well you don't need your battlefield treatment for player versus environment right when you're not fighting an actual player Okay, so I'm going to take that and upgrade. Um, if you've recently upgraded your airship building a couple times, then just go ahead and go in there. And I don't like doing it either, but reset all abilities and start over, right? It just helps out. It's a bit buggy. Mastered. 
I've, I've never actually seen that before, so because uh, it's 31 mastered. Matt has got to go up higher than that, but I guess not. I hope I don't have to uh, turn my phone off to get that done right there. Now there's my dancing ship. Haven't really given her a name yet, but. All right, let's go over to the uh, defensive tab here. All right, I don't have any components, so I've got to go up here and reset this one. All right, so this one is infantry defense, infantry versus cavalry reduction. We won't do that one first. We're gonna go up here to infantry versus distance, right? Distance does the most damage. So let's hit that up, and I can't go up anymore until I hit, I can't even see it, damn bugs, right? Well, I can't go up anymore until I get another level of my airship, right? So I got infantry health plus 80%, and then infantry damage reduction, right? This is the damage stat, 62%. All right, nice. And then uh, let's knock this boy up. Am I going to even have enough? Set that one, but that's not going to be enough. I might have to go into uh, a couple places to get this one up. I don't have enough components. Alright, I can't reset that one because I, I actually need it. I could probably lower it down a bit, but um, what I do when I'm going against the uh, you know player versus environment, I put this one here. And the reason is it gives me an extra. 10% infantry attack. You don't need battlefield treatment when you're doing, speak it up, I should probably collect that claim. When you're doing this, you don't need battlefield treatment. Okay, it's player versus environment. When you're doing spirit mines, you're trying to go up the spirit mines, you don't need it. Okay, so, all right, where can I get some more components? All right, so let's check in my bag. I've, I've pretty much looted everything here. Um, no, I'm not going to get any there. Um, I could with my hero store coins, but with the. Um, so let's go to the first place. Spirit lines. Alright. I haven't really been focusing on guardian components. I've been focusing mostly on uh, assault because I thought I had plenty, but. Honestly, that the uh, higher level airships, they're hungry when it comes to these components. Let's see what we got here. Get enough there to, oh, I, they're, already, they're still in my bag. All right, so go down here. I wish they would just go directly to your airship. I mean, it's not like you can trade them. So what's the point, right? So we'll get all this stuff up first, and then we're going to see if I can't upgrade my star. I know it's a long video, so if you don't like long videos, go ahead and leave. You probably already know this stuff. All right? Boom, I got that one up a little bit more. And it can't go up any higher anyway, so perfect. I don't think this one goes up anymore past 10% for the attack, right? So I don't have the components anyways. But let's see what I can do for gears. All right? Normally I wouldn't push all these but I want to right now because it's airship day and I want to get up as high as I can right and I'll just get more of these from expeditions right. I don't really need any more four stars I need um, I'm hungry for five stars and I might get some of these during the event um, I'm really focused on my airship right now, especially since I want to do a couple mercenary airship missions just to, to have a bit of fun. All right, anyway, so let's go to the hero store. What do I got, right? I got 31,000 coins. I can go in to the hero store airship. They're a bit pricey here, right, in my opinion, but... I need them, so I'm just going to buy a little bit, right? Um, no, I don't want to spend that many coins. 
let's see I want to save let's keep us at 27 in case I need it for bounties or close to 27 You guys know I make these just, you know, I don't plan on them. If I see an opportunity to make a video that might help people, you know, might have helped me if I would have known it when I was, uh, I was still growing. Gold, give me more gold. All right, I always need more gold, okay. All right, so a few more components there. It's probably not gonna kick me up to the next one. Another tiny, there's 500, right? Sometimes you get lucky and get them here in the uh, exchange. Speaking of, boom, right? I won't trade for gold, not for that, but don't need to do it today. I've already got my dailies done. All right, so let's see here. A few more components. One. All right, so let's see if that did me any good whatsoever. That was maxed. That one's maxed. That one can still go up a little bit, but let's see what happens, right? So, I got everything. This one's not going to help me in expeditions, right? This is uh, cavalry versus artillery damage, right? And I only use it for the infantry attack. It's a small amount, 10%, but it's 10% I didn't have before, right? So, let's see uh, what happens. And I hit this bad boy. Oh, there we go. Alright, another level. I'm probably not going to go up much more than this. I usually get maybe one or two after this. But sometimes I'm wrong. I don't really look at these reports until I lose. It's like, alright, greater one. Boom, there we go, yeah, so... It's not a bad difference right there, right? So sometimes you can hit these again. RG might win it for you. Wow, that was a much bigger loss. So no, it's, it's probably a done deal. All right, where do I need to work on my stats? Definitely infantry defense, right? Two, two. Thought I get that elsewhere. Um. So another thing you can do, right? Obviously, is to check your airship parts right I got loads here that I need to dismantle or upgrade I said I, I hold on to them right so uh, if you get enough frags for these you can you can craft um, you can activate these handbooks I still need oh, where are we at eyes aren't so great. I usually play on the computers because it's it's easier on the old eyeballs, but I just want to make sure that all these are activated, right? This is old news. By activated, I mean like, you know, these greens, I think they only need to be, what, 15? Level 15 for, for these abilities, right? These abilities here to be activated. And I think the blues are 20, no, no the blues are 15. And then uh, once you get the golds and up, they gotta be 20, right? See, it's a small little print right down there. You can't really see it right above the equip button. It tells you what level it's gotta be at to uh, to be activated. And if you can't activate it, there's no point in equipping it. You're actually gonna lose more stats. Um, speaking of, uh, that this one's not activated. So I can get a lot more of my airship, right? So I'm going to remove this one. Move this one, move this one. This is a quick fix, but let's see here. That one's lower. Okay. Right, where's that other one? My eyes are deceiving me. So sign. And then boom, once I add that one on there, right? Good teaching moment. Bam, now this one is activated, right? Now, that's gonna bring my stats up a bit, so. 
Always important. Always important. Always make sure these things are activated. I really don't move things around very much, so it's not really an issue. But Okay, so those are all activated, and I should be able to go up a little bit more on my airship. Let's check. No, still not enough. Even with the extra troop stats. Aha, RNG, baby. That's a huge loss, so chances are I got I got some upgrading to do before that one's gonna go up, right? Well this is a, a good event to uh, to pick up those those frags that you're missing, you know, like if you're missing these uh, precision components, um, you know, these gears. I really need five star. I mean, everybody wants six star, but I'll be having five stars all around right now, so. You can move those stars around to kind of uh, push through those, um, the airship expeditions, but I'm not gonna get any further anyway, so. Not unless I get more of these and I'm not buying them today. I usually wait until the last day when I use the, uh, Shooting gallery coins, right? Guns of Glory almost always a shooting gallery on last day because if they did it on the first day, then you'd have all the frags and you would, or you'd have a lot of the frags you need and you wouldn't have to spend money, right? I mean, smart business plan, but all right. So I always make sure I have at least fifty in there when when this time comes, when the holiday events come around. I try, yeah, I'd like to be nice, nice to have more, but sometimes in a pinch, I I need to buy stuff. All right, well. There you saw a quick, easy way to kind of push through expeditions. Probably pretty basic information, but kind of really long, drawn out video. Uh, okay, so this is your boy Juggernaut, King of 440. Work with my boy Khabib in 171. Peace.